Are you struggling with bowel movement problems due to pelvic pain and pelvic floor muscle spasm? Both straining and constipation can be caused by this problem and this can actually lead to chronic pelvic pain. But fortunately, there's a physiotherapy bowel movement technique that improves bowel emptying and also helps you to alleviate pelvic pain and pelvic floor muscle spasm. Hi, I'm Michelle and today I'm guiding you through this technique to help you relieve pelvic pain and also to associated muscle spasm when you're emptying your bowels. So first of all we're going to go through the position because that's really important, your bowel emptying position, and then we'll go through step by step the correct technique to empty your bowels, relieve that spasm and also to relieve pelvic pain. So let's go through the starting position and then we'll go through the technique too. Now your best starting position is to sit in a lean forward position, never hovering over the toilet. So I'll come silent so you can see me, bring my hair around. Sitting and leaning forward like this so that your hands are resting on your thighs or your elbows are resting on your thighs. This is how you encourage your core muscles including your pelvic floor to relax as you're emptying your bowel. So if you're pulling your tummy muscles in like this and if your spine is slumped like that, what you actually do is push down through the pelvic floor. If your pelvic floor muscles are in spasm, they're really tight and they don't want to be stretched because when you stretch them, this causes pelvic pain. By pulling your tummy in and pushing down, what you do is you push your pelvic floor down and that's what causes that pelvic pain and that cycle of chronic pelvic pain with pelvic floor muscle spasm. So the key to breaking that cycle is to use this technique that I'm just about to go with through with you now. Being mindful of the fact that you need a soft stool to actually empty. If you've already constipated, speak to your doctor or your pharmacist, make sure your, your stool is soft and well formed to use this technique. So in that lean forward position, what you do then is start by taking four to five deep breaths. Now deep breaths help your pelvic floor to relax and sometimes you might even feel the bowel movement even start by doing your deep breaths. How do you do that? You breathe into your belly, so you're breathing in deeply, hopefully in through your nose if you can or in through your mouth, but in through the nose preferably. Breathing really deeply so that when you breathe in, your belly expands. So the lower belly expands with the in-breath, moves out, and then relaxes. So four to five of your deep breaths. Then an optional thing that you might like to do with pelvic floor muscle spasm is to support your pelvic floor. Now regardless of whether you're a man or a woman, you can use some toilet paper wrapped around your hand or a pad and hold and support that area in front of your anus, which is called your perineum. And you can hold that up and support it. It helps to sometimes relieve pain by stopping downward pressure by providing a counterforce to that downward movement of the pelvic floor during bowel emptying. So in that position, you might be supporting your pelvic floor, you're doing your deep breathing exercises, then here's the key, it's moo to poo. So what you do to actually generate pressure is you say mmm, so that mmm sound makes your waist wide. And if you say that now, mmm, you'll feel your waist widen. Can you feel that? Mmm. And then if you say ooh, what that does is bulge your tummy forward and opens up the anal sphincter, allowing the stool to empty. So you can see we're not pushing down through our tummy. We're actually using a pattern of mmm, ooh, to brace and make the waist wide and then bulge the lower belly forward. And then if you need to press any further or generate any further pressure, don't push down, say mmm, ooh, again. So that is the key to emptying and your bowel movement with your pelvic floor muscle spasm and if you're suffering from chronic pelvic pain. So I think you can see this technique is really uh, vital to overcoming this condition. It needs to be practiced and it needs to be practiced with a soft stool. So if you can practice it regularly, it becomes a regular habit. It's going to be a great way of assisting you to overcoming your chronic pelvic pain. So I really hope this information helps you to move your bowels and reduce the amount of discomfort or pelvic pain that you're experiencing with your bowel movement. Uh, 
As always, I always read your comments, so please feel welcome to comment and correspond with me down in the comments below. And if you found the video helpful to you in reducing your discomfort, I'd really be grateful if you could give the video a like below because then YouTube's much more likely to share the video with other viewers that can benefit as well. Uh, stay with me next if you'd like some constipation exercises because they're about to come up. Otherwise, thanks so much for your time and for watching today. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye for now.